Darcy, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be reviewing the Daphne straightening brush. Now I am super excited about this video because Daphne kindly reached out to me a few weeks ago and offered to send me over this brush in order for me to review and let you guys know my honest opinions on the Ceramic Original Heated Straightening Brush. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Firstly, I want to ask you guys to do two things for me. Now this really helps me out and it takes you literally two seconds. Firstly, scroll down and hit that subscribe button. And secondly, while you're there, give this video a thumbs up. Yes, my hair is disgustingly humid. It has absorbed all the moisture into the air and looks like this big frizzy mess that it is. However, this is gonna really work in our favor because I'm going to test out the Daphne against my horrible humid hair. So that is putting it to the real test if anything is. As you guys may have noticed, I'm not in my usual background anymore. I am actually in my salon. So this is where I'm gonna be filming my videos from now on. So get used to this background because you're gonna be seeing a lot more of it. And I am actually so pleased to be in the salon because I think it gives a bit more of a professional vibe for you guys to look at. And I think it's nice for you guys to know where I actually work. So this is the salon that I work in. So here it is, the original Daphne straightening brush. And it comes in this lovely box that Daphne sent me. And I'm so, so grateful for. So big thank you to Daphne for sending this out to me. I feel very, very lucky. So what they have sent me is their original straightening brush. It is in the normal size. They also come in a travel size as well. I'll leave a link to the Daphne website down below in the description box. So if you guys would like to go and check them out, then go ahead and click that link. This is the original straightening brush that they have sent me. And on the box it says, straightening has never been easier and faster. So this is gonna be great for someone who's really in a rush for work every morning, doesn't really have a lot of time to spend on their hair, has a busy lifestyle, maybe you're a mom, you've got young kids and you don't have time to be preening yourself in the morning, instead you've got to be preening your kids. So this is going to be a great idea for some of you guys that are really struggling with your hair in the morning. This is the Daphne straightening brush and guys it is so cool. So initially off the bat I'm loving it because it's super lightweight which is something that I do look for in any new tech that I buy. Whatever I have, I do want it to be super lightweight because when I'm working with this on people back to back all day, I don't want to get an achy arm really quickly because then it will hinder my work and I want to do the best quality work for my clients that I can. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. So when you turn this on initially, this red light means that it's actually heating up. When it's heated and ready for the temperature, ready for your hair, it will turn green and make a little melody sound. So I'm sure we'll see that happen in any second now. One hour later. Perfect. Oh, there we go. So there's the little green melody. So that means it's ready to go. And I can feel the heat. It's not majorly hot. So if you did touch this by accident, you aren't going to scold yourself, which is great because I know everyone has problems with that. And what I can feel is the heat is actually coming out from the center the most. And then towards the edges, it's getting slightly cooler. So I'm thinking this black bit doesn't actually get heated itself, the bristles on the black bit there, if you can see them. But in fact, it's actually the purple bit. So that's what we want to center the hair on and that's what's going to get us the results. What I'm going to do this for you guys is actually do a half and half so we can see what we've been working with before and we can see the results of the Daphne side by side. So this side is going to be the side that I test the Daphne straightening brush on and this is going to be my humid hair side. How I normally straighten, I actually use a pair of Cloud9 straighteners which I absolutely adore and then I can hand these down so that they are the best pair of straighteners that I've ever used. So this has got a lot to live up to if it's going to give me the same results. Now the great thing with this is when I actually straighten people's hair, what I do is do a rhythm with a comb so I actually get in there with the comb to make it nice and sleek. The pro side to this already is that I don't even need the comb for that. This is solely the comb and the straightening brush together does the same job. So that is saving me a little bit of time already. And sometimes for people who aren't hairdressers, I can find that a bit fiddly too. So that's going to be a real lifesaver. So that's a good point for Daphne so far. So the idea of what Daphne want you to do with this is basically use it like a brush. So you literally are brushing your hair through and just kind of combing that section to get the sleekness. What they don't want you to do is hold it on for too long on your hair. You do have to glide it through. If you hold it on one section for too long, you could end up with a lot of heat damage or even potentially your hair would be broken and come off in the brush. So definitely keep it always moving through your hair is gonna be my top tip. And I mean, like, look at that already. That is so sleek in seconds. And I think I put the brush on that four times. And that's really impressive. It feels good. It doesn't feel like really, really super hot. It doesn't feel like 
a straightener normally do when they can kind of burn you a little bit when you drop it on your chest sometimes. So already, I'm good guys, I'm liking this. Okay, let's just give it one final one just to give it a bit of more sleepiness. And then all I'm gonna do is take my next section now and start from the middle and do exactly the same. Already what I love about this is that you can actually use it super close to your root as well without feeling like you've got any burn on the scalp or if it's feeling uncomfortable or anything like that. And what I'm actually doing is alternating the way that I straighten it just so I'm making sure that I get every single little bit of hair in there. So I'm going under with the brush initially just to make sure that that's giving me the best results. But what I like to do just to double check that I haven't missed any pieces is actually use the brush like this on its backside and that also gives me a really nice finish there. I'm loving this, guys. I mean, that's taken me literally, I kid you not, probably about two minutes, two and a half minutes top to do one side of my head. So we're talking five minutes to do your whole head. Now, this would be great on Afro-Caribbean hair, anyone with naturally curly hair, anyone with really thick hair as well, like naturally wavy that finds it quite hard to straighten because the beauty of this is that you can actually take massive sections and still get really good results. Sometimes with straighteners you do have to take smaller sections to get sleeker results. However, with this, I feel like you could just keep going out all day long and it would still give you really good results. So I'm loving this, you know? Just check if I haven't missed any bits, but it covers a super wide part of your hair so you aren't having to go over it six, seven, eight times to make sure that you're getting a bit. But I think the key to this is always to keep it moving at the same motion so you're getting that even sleepness every time. I'm really liking that. I mean, like, if we look at the other side compared to what we start with, look at the amount of, like, look how sleek that is. And it feels great. It feels super soft. It doesn't feel like it's pulled my ends because they are a bit dry. It does need to cut at the moment. And sometimes when I do that with the straightener, you can hear a bit of a pulling and you can hear a bit of like the, the dry bits getting fraggled a little bit in the straighteners, which isn't great and obviously not what you want. I'm super impressed with this. So all I'm gonna do to finish this off is do my usual routine, is just spray a dry conditioner in. And this dry conditioner is actually a Schwarzkopf Oasis one. I have recently found a new love for this. I haven't picked it up in the salon before, but last week, it was recommended to me by another stylist and I haven't stopped using it since. So thank you Schwarzkopf for creating such a great invention. And I don't know any brand that's got a dry conditioner in it either. I actually have never heard of it before the Osis one came into stuck in the sun. So definitely gonna be using that a lot more too. It's great for taking away any frizz when you've done curls as well that I've found. When I'm doing curls on some people with thicker hair or naturally wavy hair, sometimes it can get a bit frizzy at the end and obviously that's not a look that you want. And then all I'm gonna do to just finish off is take some of the BC UV filter serum. I use that serum religiously on my own hair and all I like to do is just after I blow dry or if I feel like second day it's got a bit fluffy overnight, I just like to put it through the middle ends and ends of my hair just so I know that all those ends that could potentially be a bit fly away are just smoothed down and look really shiny, really natural. Just give me a really nice finish. So, I mean, guys, Let's just take a moment to appreciate this brush and what it can actually do. So overall, I'm gonna give the Daphne a nine out of 10 on this straightening brush. It is something I did not know that I needed. The reason it's a nine out of 10 is just because it's slightly on the pricier side, perfect for anyone with a really busy schedule, whether you have to wake up at five in the morning, get ready for work. This is just gonna be that quick fix in the morning that you want to make your hair feel flawless and keep it flawless throughout the whole day as well. You can rely on it not to get fluffy and to last you the whole day until you actually get into bed that night. So thank you Daphne once again for sending me this brush. I'm very, very lucky and very, very blessed to have been sent this. And I will be looking forward to reviewing some more products for you guys. If you guys have any in particular that you would like me to review, definitely drop a comment below and I will be sure to do those for you. And I will see you next week with a brand new video.